It's Friday, March 14th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. Are you tired of sexual scandals? Racial politics got you feeling blue? Well, how about some good old-fashioned embezzlement so you can turn that frown upside down? Politico's President Hannah Connor report that the former treasurer of the National Republican Congressional Committee, Christopher Ward, has embezzled as much as $1 million from the NRCC and other Republican committees. Ward is said to have filed bogus audits from 2002 to 2006. Apparently a break in the case came when Ward attempted to submit one phony audit on fake letterhead. Fake letterhead? That's like a trick straight from the fifth grade playbook. But no matter how many times you swear it's a real doctor's note, then as now, it's just hard for teachers to accept that your doctor's name is Butts McCracken. Needless to say, the jig was quickly up for Ward and the NRCC is still investigating the extent of the damage. Now, if you're a Democrat, you might be tempted to think of this as evidence of Republican corruption, but since it's really the NRCC stealing from itself, perhaps the Democrats will look at this as a kind of virtuous cannibalization, which is, after all, the best kind. Next, Obama and Clinton campaigns are sparring over electoral viability. Ben Smith reports that in response to Clinton strategist Mark Penn's claim that Obama really can't win the general election, Obama spokesman Tommy Veter points to Obama's lead in delegates, states won and the popular vote, and claims that Mark Penn is divorced from reality. You know, this is hard for me too, but Mark and reality have fallen out of love. But Tommy, I want you to know it doesn't mean they both don't still love you very, very much. Well, actually, in the case of Mark Penn, it probably does. Finally, the Washington Post reports that Florida Democrats have proposed a primary revote in June that would happen through the mail. Okay, Floridians, I know you think you're all hotshot because you came up with this great idea. Ooh, voting through the mail. Why didn't anyone think of this before? Well, two reasons, actually. Number one, you're Florida. So of all the new things you guys should be experimenting with, voting systems is not one of them. Number two, you're doing it through the mail. So basically, you'd be replacing this guy with this guy. Well, that's it for today. So check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including yesterday's meeting between Clinton and Obama. And don't worry, even if your phony letterhead excuses won't get you out of school, you can at least try to convince your teacher that you're learning something from what you see right here on Playbook TV.